what are the biggest problems in this country is rapid population growth. This high population growth rate is one of the major reasons for poverty in India. This further leads to a high level of illiteracy, poor healthcare facilities, and lack of access to financial resources. But India's economy is not growing at the same rate. In 2020, between 7 million people and 8 million 11 million people face hunger. The ever increasing factors of even social poverty are another reason for poverty. A person below the poverty line finds it challenging to survive. Over a sixth of India is permanently hungry and undernourished. That is, almost 190 million people go to sleep today on those days. There are a number of people in India who still live on streets and beg for the whole day to eat a meal. Underprivileged children are unable to attend school. At the official estimates, there are 269.3 million people living below the poverty to life in the country, who live in unhygienic conditions and are prone to many health problems. With this, the vicious cycle of poor health, lack of education, and more poverty keeps on increasing. Wouldn't it be pleasant if people could buy at least the basic necessities at minimum and affordable price? An actor Sujit Yar, a group of 25 passionate and zealous individuals who would like to visit to move project Janta Bazaar, whose objective is to build a communal supermarket for the society to equip with them with the basic necessities at a minimal and affordable price. Being empathetic towards the needs of the people has always been an objective of an actor Sujit Yar. So here we are working for providing people with the basic necessities at minimal prices because we care. Yes, you heard it right. A supermarket where basic needs can be bought at an affordable price. Basically, a social market. Social supermarkets are comparable to conventional supermarkets that operate in stationary outlets and primarily sell food and consumer products. The main difference of SSMEs as compared to conventional supermarkets lies in a modified implementation of various retail marketing instruments. For example, a limited assortment and a significantly lower consumer price comes in 50% to 70% less than regular market prices. The store's limited assortment consists of surplus products that are supplied free of charge by retailing and manufacturing company. These products are unsellable for various reasons. For example, they are close to expiration date, surplus products, in the wrong packaging, but are still somehow consumed. We started this project by doing a thorough analysis by speaking to almost 30 people belonging to lower income groups. This helped us to understand more. These people not only want to be able to afford things, but also want to buy things with dignity and be treated with respect. Also, the effects of food, shampoo, detergent, other laundry essentials, etc. are very essential for good health and hygiene, but unfortunately are not available at ration shops, and so it is not affordable for economically weaker people, which in turn deteriorates their health. Then, we contacted a number of small and big retail shops, factories, and warehouses who know about the availability of products that are unsaleable for various reasons, but are still consumable. And after all this research, we were able to come up with a plan to make our supermarket a reality. First, we acquire surplus and wrongly packaged products at a minimal cost from big supermarkets. Then, we will find the trained staff to maintain the social supermarket. Then, we plan to sell the products at low price, approximately 50% off, at the local B3 bazaar. For our pilot, we plan to start a local 1B3 shop near the Vadala Sons. Further, we will use the money earned to pay off the staff and buy the next batch of products. The target group of SSMs is restricted to financially poor people. We believe that we can easily impact 2 to 3 percent BPL fields in a region that is approximately 5 to 10 people from Hane and Mumbai region. Community shop and award winning social enterprise and the UK's first social supermarket reported that 87% of the members feel more confident in themselves, 97% of members say that they have access to tools and skills they need to achieve their life goals, 96% of members report that their mental well being is improved, 92% of members report that their physical well being is improved. We hope to achieve a similar impact in following this. 1. System of buying speed provides a wider variety, allows dignity to be preserved, and increases the purchasing power of life. Second, nearly 40% of the food produced in India is wasted every year due to fragmented food system and inefficient supply chains, a figure estimated by Food and Agriculture Organization. This is the loss that occurs even before the food reaches the consumer. With the Prajanta Bazaar, the beneficiaries are low income target groups who will really benefit from improvement in food waste prevention. Third, there is also an opportunity to use reintegration programs or socially oriented employment, new added value to the local area. The SDGs covered by project at Janta Bazaar are SDG 1, No Poverty, SDG 2, Zero Hunger, SDG 3, Good Health and Wellbeing, SDG 8, Decent Work and Economic Growth. In future, we wish to scale up this project by collaborating with local political leaders, get support from the Department of Food and Public Distribution, and also marketing aggressively. Our project will also try to benefit nature and its resources by means of recycling, waste reduction, and many. We hope you connect with the ILA as much as we do, and together we help our society to grow and develop.